Today I'm going to show you how to customize the Start menu in Windows Vista. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to add an item to the Pinned Items menu at the very top of the Start menu. Right now it only shows Mozilla Firefox, but if I wanted to add Picasa to that area, all I have to do is right click on it, and then click on Pin to Start menu. Now when I go to the Start menu, Picasa appears right below Mozilla Firefox, and I can change the order of these icons just by dragging them. But I can also customize the items that appear on the right side of the Start menu. All I have to do is right click on the Start button and then click on Properties. Here I can choose between the Vista style start menu or a classic start menu that looks like the start menu from Windows XP. If I want, I can also tell it not to show programs and files that I've used recently. For more options, I can click on the Customize button. At the top is a list of all the items that can appear on the start menu. Some of them I can just turn on or off, but others, like the control panel, I can choose how they're displayed or make them display not at all. Right now the control panel is just displayed as a link on the start menu. But if I click on Display as Menu, and then click on OK, and then Apply, when I go to the Start menu, the Control Panel link has become a menu that shows me all my Control Panel options right here. Back in the Customize window, I can add items to the Start menu for things like my Internet Favorites, or the Games menu, or my Music folder. There's other options here as well, like this one that controls whether or not menus will pop up when I pause over them with a pointer instead of having to click on them. Down below I can increase or decrease the number of programs that appear in the Recent Programs area. And I can also change what program shows up for the internet link, and add one for email as well. So that's how to customize the Start menu in Windows Vista.